Howdy Fluff Butts, it's me, Fallen Wild Pro in Cortez Coat. And hey, would you look at this? I'm back on the bed. You know what that means. It's time for another sit and talk video. And let me tell you, this is a video that has haunted me in the back of my mind for a while. But now it is finally going to be articulated. Judging by the title of this video right now, this would feel more like an English language lesson rather than me talking about an experience I've had in the two fandoms. Well, technically speaking, it's always an experience because there is one extremely specific, teeny tiny, constantly abhorrent question that dwells upon me every day I live. How do you pronounce your persona's name? Fallon Wildpaw. Fallon Cortez. Fallon Wildpaw. Fallon Wildpaw. Okay, okay, just stop! I've had enough, okay? Just oh, stop! So how about I break my silence and tell you fluff butts what you've always wanted to know. At last. The answers are coming your way. Please know that I am no expert in name originations, so please don't be offended if I'm possibly incorrect about the meaning or history of something. Forgive me. My persona's name, Frolan Wildpaw, is arguably one of the most brought up topics in a chat whenever I am in a conversation with literally anyone. That name, which belongs to my sweet wear fox, is a major contrast to my pony character's name, Cortez Colt. It's easy to pronounce. You can split it up into three parts. Cor Tez Colt. Just with a little fancy K at the start. I tried to be special, I have no idea why. But my persona's name is a conundrum. Ever since his creation in 2016 and physical evolution up to now in 2021, nothing has bothered me more, unlike a pesky symmetrical mistake, than how many pronunciations my persona's name has had from people. So let's get to the bottom of this, shall we? First off, what is the meaning of the name Frolan? It is mainly a male specified name. It is a name that originates from Ireland. It is an uncommon name, so you wouldn't really hear it around that often. Frolan as a boy's name is of Irish and Gaelic origin. And the meaning of Frolan is Little Wolf. Which is seriously ironic given how my persona is, <laughs> is actually a fox. <laughs> Damn, I really am just a stain on the name Frolan since I'm actually a fox. I'm very sorry to any other Frolans out there. There are several other names to Frolan that sound audibly alike. For example, Phelan, Declan, and Ronan. You have no trouble pronouncing those names, do you? But with Frolan... I have had several friendly convos with people in the past that have said the following arguments about my name. If you say Frolan, then where the hell is the R in the name? Frolan, then where is the A and the O? Huh? Ugh, your name is too complicated. You just made it up. How many syllables are in your name? Like a hundred? <laughs> Those questions always seem to cause the most mayhem. So let me explain. I have already once displayed before how my persona's name was meant to be pronounced, and it came out like this. Frolan. However, because translation websites are unreliable like a broken first to <laughs> zip, it came out from Google Translate in a Scottish Gaelic explanation. Irish Gaelic and Scottish Gaelic could be considered the same thing, since both languages share a lot of the same words in common with one another. But the thing is, while the two languages share a lot of the same sounds in the most part, they are very different. The languages have evolved accent marks throughout time, so that they always slant to the right for Irish, and they slant to the left for Scottish Gaelic. So, for example, if an accent mark was applied to the second A in Frolan, if it was slanted to the right... Uh, wait, which right is right? Like, I mean... This is my right, but this is your right. I didn't plan ahead, didn't I? This is like something out of Spaceballs all of a sudden. When does this happen in the movie? Now. You're looking at now, sir. 
Everything that happens now is happening now. If it was slanted to the right, you would say it in Irish. And if it was slanted to the left, you would say it in Scottish Gaelic. Oh, and there's an anglicised version of the name too. So we shall throw in that spin on the name too, because why not? DIVERSITY! Going off of all of that knowledge, we shall try out some pronunciations for all three spins on the name. I can't say it now because we may finally know how to truly pronounce the name. The following ways to say my name have been taken off of several name sites and even driven through a handful of translation pages for extra reassurance. Yes, I just contradicted myself there, but we all turn to them in the end, don't we? Love me, I love you. In Irish, it is pronounced Fraelan. In Scottish Gaelic, it is pronounced Frolan. And in English, it is pronounced Fowlan. So there you have it! On average, with approximate guesses, there is four different ways to say my name. Ah, <sighs> finally, the case has been set down and the book on the trauma of me having to deal with so many pronunciations has been closed. So if you Fluffbots want any verification on my, on how I'm going to say it in the future, I am going to be continuing to use the pronunciation I have been using throughout the past five years. I, and hopefully I've helped you fluff but understand why my name is occasionally difficult to understand. Well, ooh, ooh. Okay, your hoof just hit me in the face, Cortez, Jesus. And well, Fluffbutts, that does just about it for my second Sit and Talk video. I hope you all have enjoyed watching, and don't worry, if you probably mispronounce my name in the future, I won't be offended. I fully understand now why Frolin is just an uproar of a name. Trust me, I won't be triggered. Unless people are going to probably deliberately do it to me and just mispronounce my name in public whenever they meet me in the future or at future conventions. No, it's gonna happen, Cortez, it's gonna happen. And don't forget to like this video down below and comment your thoughts as well. Like, how did you pronounce Frolin? Or now you know the pronunciations, which one do you think is the most suitable for me to use? Even though I said I know which one I'm gonna be using, but still, I wanna hear your thoughts as well. And also, don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content coming this year. And I shall see you soon. Goodbye.